My name is Dr Ian Lipscomb. Uh, I'm Head of Mathematics, uh, which is in, within the Education Department. Um, and I teach mathematics and mathematics with statistics. I originally started looking into biomedical mathematics. So I looked at the uh, knee injury, so whether you could mathematically model knee injuries. Um, and then I moved on to things such as prion disease and kind of that area. So basically biomedical uh, situations. Uh, but more recently I've moved into the area of cryptography and very interested in looking at that, researching that and doing, going further with that in cryptocurrency. I was a teacher for full, uh, full time for several years in a sixth form college teaching mathematics and physics to students and then I went from there into kind of into the university and becoming a mathematics lecturer here. So there are two main mathematics courses. We have a straight mathematics course which looks at uh, covering a, the, a broad uh, amount of mathematics. Because mathematics is such a huge field, we can't cover everything, but we can give you a background and the foundations to allow you to go into a plethora of jobs that might be open to you afterwards. The other course is Mathematics with Statistics, which focuses far more on the statistical elements of mathematics and would allow you to go into things such as being a data analyst and various aspects such as that. And we have uh, a course on there which is data analytics, which is an exciting and broadening field at the moment within modern society. We don't want maths to be taught as an abstract concept. It's so often that maths is kind of somewhere miles away which no one really understands, but we want it to be something which they can see how it actually works in reality and how it works in modern day life. So we try and incorporate as much as we can about the real world into the way we teach and into the examples and the um, techniques we show to students. I think what makes us stand out from uh, courses at other universities is that we keep our classes small, we have a very friendly atmosphere, we don't use large uh, lecture theatres, so we're not a face in the crowd, you're an individual to us. So we, all the students I know by name, I know all my students by name and I can talk to them and they're quite happy to have a chat, so it's a very friendly atmosphere. Maths is such a complex um, field that we actually believe that it's a, you get a lot more out of it, or the students get a lot more out of it by having uh, more individual support. You get a lot more time, face-to-face -face time with your lecturer and you can ask those questions which you may not want to ask in front of your, your, your peers or your mates. We, we know that every student has different bits which they understand and different bits which they uh, don't understand. And in fact, if you ask me a question about the course, I know that there's probably another three or four people in this room who have the same question but maybe are slightly less um, willing to ask it. And so you're actually helping the whole class. So we encourage chatting or discussing with us more than just being a one-way situation where I just talk to you. To get onto the course, there are certain grade criteria that you have to reach. But equally, uh, if you came in and you kind of had a look around and you chatted with me, I'm more than willing to give a guided tour to students who want to have see the campus and want to get the feel for what it's actually like. Because I believe that gives you more of an understanding of how it is here. Because it's such a different atmosphere to quite a lot of universities because it's a lot more friendly and a lot more closer atmosphere. And so that helps. If I know that you've come to the university and I know you and you've chatted to me, then it does help within your admission situation. Mathematics is a massive field. I mean, from mathematics you go into anything. I mean, we've had recent students who've gone into uh, becoming teachers. That's quite a straightforward one. But there's other ones who've gone into the defence industry, so they've become um, operational consultants and various other things in places such as DSTL. Uh, we have students who are data analysts, analysing data for big companies. We've got people in insurance, people in uh, accountancy. So there's a whole range of fields. If anything, maths is, is a complete... Um, is a, a, course which allows you to open up all the different areas that you want to go to rather than something that closes it down into a very spe specific area. And then you get a superior level of face-to-face -face contact and academic support. You get an academic advisor who will know you very well and we can offer you something which other universities um, struggle to offer, you know, a personal service to make you feel like you are special. And I think that's something which we offer incredibly well at the University of Chichester. The students I want to be teaching are normally ones that have a little bit of, um, I can say, oomph. They, they, they don't, I, I, I don't mind people being quiet, but I want someone who wants to engage in a conversation and wants to learn. 
So someone who was quite willing to challenge me and talk to me and say, hang on, I don't think that, that's right on there. That's, that's, you haven't you made a mistake there? Something like that, so that I can actually get some challenge and some feedback and some actual conversation starting within classroom between me and them and the whole, whole group so that we actually get some actual useful discussion being going on. Well, I think this is an amazing university, but then I would, wouldn't I? You have the best of both worlds. If you want to be in the city and all the shops, okay, you're there. And if you want to go to the seaside and have a relaxation or just have a walk, then you've got that as well. So I think this is quite unique in that way. And I can't see many other universities having that ability to let you have both those situations in one place.